from Television City in Hollywood, this is the $100,000 Pyramid. Today's special guests are Shelly Smith and from my sister Sam, Joel Brooks. Your host is Dick Clark. Thank you, Charlie. Oh, it is the $100,000 pyramid. Hey, time's creeping up on us here, folks. In just about uh, three and a half weeks, three people will return to go for an additional $100,000. And we're trying real hard to get a couple of these folks in there. Shelly Smith, I do think we need a little more time on the outfit. Uh, if you just, uh, now that you're all comfy and seated, would you? Well, I, I don't mind. What is the uh, outer thing made of? Fabric. <laughs> so glad I asked. This is all, I, I have to plug her. She's so clever. It's this California designer named Margie Kent, and I just think she's wonderful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's thank outstanding. you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I thought it was some sort of special metallic something. Yeah, it has something, a metallic anyway, something. On to the game. Leanne Burley is the mother of three and, and two match up. Twin boys, two and a half years old, Tommy and Matthew, and a four year old little girl, Lindsay. Boy. And the biggest baby, my husband. I take care of him. <laughs> I won't ask his age. He'd be just, we'll let him run by. What's his, your, your husband's name? Tom. Tom? Mm -hmm. All right. Good luck to you here, Leanne. You. This is a good group of players you got. You can't go wrong with Shelly. You can't go wrong with Joel. They're very evenly matched. We wish you good luck. Linda Simon's the one you got to watch out for. She is a killer here. Uh, Joel, I should say hello to you, sir, first uh, of all. And you want to stand up and no, model no, your, your show suit? The inside it's, a, of the it's your sincere banker's suit. Right. <laughs> Right. Let's be sincere now. Then. You got it. If okay. you can fake that, you got it made. <laughs> Linda Simon, how much money have you won so far? $8,150 and a trip for two to Hong Kong. Not bad, my Not dear. Bad the winner circles over here. Let's head there in a while. These are the subjects. We have tongue-in-cheek making waves. It's good for you. He's such an animal. Begin the coronation. Always on Sunday, 7-Eleven will be played. Shelley Smith makes the first choice, and away we go. It's good for you. It's good for you. These are things associated with nutrition. Okay. Things associated with nutrition. Ready, go. Uh, you have too much weight. You go on a diet. Right, and you're sick. The doctor takes you to the hospital. The, right. And uh, this is what you read the food on in the restaurant. Label menu. Right. And uh, this is kind of fruit like oranges, lemons, limes. Citrus. Girl, right. And you should have more blank in your diet. You digest Fiber. better. Yeah. And this is stuff women should drink. It's good for your milk. bones. It's good for your bones. It's the, it's the uh, mineral that's good for your bones. It's in milk. Calcium. Right. And uh, this is not, this is fat in your system. It gives you a heart attack. It's oh, cholesterol. Mm, I'm sorry. It was a little late with cholesterol. Six out of seven. Joe Brooks, you've had an extra 30, 40 seconds to look this thing over. What have you decided to go for? Uh, always on Sunday. All right. Describe these things associated with Sunday. Sunday. Things associated with Sunday. Ready. Go. Um, it's the bunny holiday. Uh, Easter. Uh huh. Um, when two people get married, they're. Uh, church. They have they, a. Wedding. Mm hmm. Um, not lunch or breakfast, but. Brunch. No. Breakfast, uh, uh, evening. Uh, supper dinner. or. Yeah. Um, uh, an afternoon play. Is, uh, matinee. Yes. Um, uh, I drank too much. I now have a... A headache hangover. Yeah. Um, and this is the Tick, Tick, Tick program with Morley Safer on Sunday nights. Tick, Tock. Tick, six, tick, tick. Uh, Oh, 60 minutes. Yeah. No. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to take a little nap. I need a little... Mm, oh, my sorry about that. Sorry. Oh. I said... Six. You said 60, was that what it was? I said 60. He said, he, he I said, said 60. 60. 60. Yeah, yeah. It was just enough of 60 to make him go a little crazy there. All right, 6 to 5 is the score. Leanne, your choice? Making waves. Making waves. Describe these things that can be controversial. Things that can be controversial. Okay. Ready, go. Um, in a courtroom, you have a jury and judge. Um, Blake Kyle. and Air, right? And you win an Academy Award. Mm -hmm. And the Playboy with the uh, centerfold. Uh huh. And rule um, two countries go against peace war in the same. Um, I had one of those doors that go around. Revolving. And it's um, a conflict. It's a. I don't know. Okay, pass it. Pass it. Um, I write a book about myself. It's an autobiography. And oh, the two people are having an affair. It's the it's local the, it's gossip. The gossip. It's a real. Oh. Mm, sorry, scandal was one. Revolution. Revolution. Yeah. It's not two countries. It's one country. I know. Could have tried uh, <clears throat> 1776, the American yeah. blank, or one I of those. As soon as it was over, I knew. Hindsight, I know, is, I know, hindsight, I hindsight is such a great okay. ability that I right. have here. <laughs> Ten to five. Linda, what would you like? We'll try tongue in cheek. That's the one with the 7-Eleven, by the way. 
opportunity to add to the take. Seven points there will make it 12. That'll put you ahead. It'll also give you $1,100. These are things associated with a tongue. Things associated with a tongue. Ready, go. Okay, what you do to a lollipop? Lick. Okay, this is my... Mouth. Okay, this is my... Foot. A shoe. What am I wearing? Heel. Right. Okay, um, you, uh, your dentist puts a tongue... A depressor. Right. Um, it's not thin, it's very... Thick. Mm -hmm. Fat. Okay, if I speak with, like... Lift. Right. Okay, what you do? Not smell, but... Uh, taste. Right. You got it. Yes! $1,100 bonus money, 12 to 10. They're leading Leanne and Shelley of the choice of He's Such an Animal and begin the coronation. Uh, he's Such an Animal. Who will give and who will receive? I'm going to give. Describe for Leanne these animals. Okay. Animals. Ready. Go. He has stripes like a horse. A zebra. And he's a big ape or a... Gorilla. Uh-huh. And he has spots and he's a cat. A jungle cat um, with spots. Panther. Um, with leopard. Spots, leopard. Right. And he has quills, and it hurts you if you touch Porcupine. them. Porcupine. Right. And uh, monkey, in chimpanzee. The, in the water, and he's like a seal. Right. And uh, he has a big horn here, not a hippopotamus, but a... A rhinoceros. Right. And uh, this is a kind of uh, bear from China, black and white. Panda bear. Right. That's it, ladies. 70 to 12. Joel and Linda have a five-point lead. You've got to come up with 18 points. Six out of seven. Who, please, will give? I'll try. <clears throat> Describe these words that begin with the letters C-O-R. Okay. These words Four. begin with C-O-R, and they need 18. Ready. Go. Okay. Uh, with a flower you give? Corsage. Okay. It's not wrong. It's... Right. Uh, correct. Right. Okay. The umbilical... Cord. Um, a company. A big company. Corporation. Right. Um, you go down the hallway or... Quarter. Um, it's a rank. Um, Corporal. Thank you. 18 oh, wins the game. The winner's circle awaits with $10,000. laughing about Linda. The first time she was in the winner's circle, when we run the commercials, they trot out a little glass of water, and she took the glass of water, and it was going like this. The next time, it was sort of like this. <laughs> and now you're cool as a cucumber. Just is like old home week. You recognize the chair. They're going to put a plaque on that chair with your name on it. Maybe. Great. Hmm. Uh, I rather doubt it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you're going to go for $10,000. You might like to try to do it in less than 50 seconds. If you can do so, you'll be back in three and a half weeks to be in the $100,000 tournament. Let's tackle these things one at a time, Joel. Let's, Let's go that. for the $10,000. Here's your first subject. Go. Uh, the molar, the uh, bicuspid. Your teeth, your teeth. Snow. Things that are white, things that are cold. Uh, a bad egg. Things that are raw, uh, cracked. Um, a bad Rotten. egg. Polished floors. Things that are slippery. Go on. Um, a bullseye. Things uh, in the middle. Target. Bullseye. Uh, target. A target. Um, 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 things you uh, shoot for. Things uh, you aim for. Yes. Um, freshly laundered shirts. Things that are stiff, clean, um, white. Um, envelopes. Things that are sealed, starched. Um, envelopes, things freshly that are laundered folded. shirts. Yes. Uh, I said. I know, polished, I guess. Waxed, right? Yeah, yeah polished uh, is, is waxed. Something, or, uh, flip the one around, guys, because you have things that are waxed and you got into a descriptive phrase, as I recall. Polished. I was, you said I polished was concerned. Floor. I should have said shiny floors, would that would have done it? Well, oh, sure now. Sure. <laughs> That's a lot of money, folks. This is um, a challenge for dear old Dick to add, you know. Uh, <laughs> this is not my usual configuration. Let me explain how I, how I do this. If all of these are out, I know that's $750. Here I have to start with my fingers. Uh, let's do it. Three, six, seven, eight, eight fifty. Yeah, I, I'm, Shelley I'm, knows it I'm like that. I'm getting better at it. <laughs> all righty. Uh, we'll be back to play again in a second. We can roll along here. 
Linda Simon uh, has picked up $850 plus bonus money. She and Shelly Smith will be a team this time. Joel Brooks and Leanne Burley will be the other team. And uh, Joel's uh, new show, My Sister Sam, debuted this week. And if you didn't get a chance to see it, you'll be able to see it next Monday night Every at? 8.30. And on the two coasts, I guess 7.30 in the middle, CBS, following Kate and Allie. And it uh, features yourself, Pam Dauber. Pam Dauber, Rebecca Schaefer, David Naughton, Jenny O'Hara. And that's it. Okay. My sister Sam. My sister Sam. Let me read the subjects, folks, and we'll have a go at this side of the game. We've got What's Up Doc. Notice that spelling on Doc. Branching out, Dorian Gray. Null and void. Is that a recent picture? That was a no-no. And the mystery seven this time. An automobile. Ooh. Fair enough. Is that enough incentive? Let's get it. All right, now, don't be hasty, Joel. Okay. Well, this is an important decision well, now. Now I have to think about this. Tell me where the Mystery 7 is. Branching out. Try it and see. No. Please describe for your partner these things found under a tree. Things found under a tree. Ready. Go. Uh, what They fall from an autumn. Please. Yeah. And um, not uncles, but... Ants. Um, you, uh, not Break. a hoe. Yeah. And this is, um, uh, a Hawaiian fruit. Pineapple. Doll, yeah. And this is a little thing that turns into a moth. It has right. lots of legs. Um, a caterpillar? Yeah. And this is, um, it falls from an oak tree. No, walnut? Yeah. Ac um, acorn. Yeah, right. Acorn. He slept for 20 years, then got up. Rip Van Winkle. Yeah. All right. Shelly, here's your first shot at the Mystery 7 on a possible car. I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at He slept for 20 years and then he got up. <laughs> what did he look like? <laughs> he, he had a certain... very long beard. <laughs> All right. That was so funny. Uh, we're going to take that was a no-no. That was a no-no. All right. Okay. Describe these kids, I beg your pardon, back up, these things kids right, do that things. get them into trouble. Okay. Things kids do that get them into trouble. Ready. Go. They don't tell the truth. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, they don't go to school. Hooky. They play yeah, hooky. Right. And um, they take from a friend. They steal. They, no, they ask him if they can. Borrow get, it. Can I have that? Can. And they go too fast in the car. They, they speed. Mm-hmm. And uh, they look on a test. They cheat. They, right. And they say bad four-letter words. They word. cuss. They, they another curse. Word, another they word. They swear. Word, right. And um, a blank tail, a person who tells Fish another tail. person. Fish uh, tail. Tattletail. Right. Okay. A fish tail? Well, what are you doing? <laughs> Leanne. What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? You are to describe for Joel Brooks these things associated with a harbor. harbor. Things associated with a harbor. Okay. Ready. Go. Um, you drop this at the boat's... Go anchor. Uh-huh. And um, the city in Massachusetts where they had the tea Boston. party. Boston. Uh-huh. And a tight, you pull tug. Rope. Uh huh. And the dock or the. B at the end of, no, here's the, the wharf. The end here, you walk out on the. the yeah, the You're plank. my. Dear. Okay, pal. Partner. And it, um, this is the lady out with the torch. Statue of Liberty. Yes. And highway. Robbery. The car that. Next. Patrol. Okay. Okay. Patrol was it. What was the gun? Here. Here. Linda's got a little bit of an advantage here. If you can see 12 to 7, if she pulls anything more than a 5, you're ahead. What would you like? Null and void. There's the car. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. I guess you better get seven out of seven, my dear. I guess I better. Fourteen points will win the auto. Here's your 30 seconds. Ready? And go. Okay, you put your money in your pocket. Right. Okay, you eat cereal in a bowl. Right. Um, you put, to keep your coffee hot, you put it in a, a, a thermos. Right. Okay, a blank of beer. A keg, a mug. Right. Um, a tisket, a tasket, a red and yellow. Basket. Um, a blank of oranges come in a crate. Okay, um, uh, where there's water, it's a, it's a big hole. With well, that's water. Yes! Congratulations. <laughs> that's great. Congratulations. Linda Simon that? has won. 
850 and bonus of uh, 1100 that's a couple of thousand I don't know, it looks to me over ten thousand dollars a trip to Hong Kong and Charlie O'Donnell oh, tell her about the automobile my pleasure for winning the mystery seven Linda you will receive a new Pontiac Fiero coupe the car with a sleek new look and an even more aggressive attitude Fiero coupe only from Pontiac we build excitement congratulations now back to Dick Clark thank you Charlie Linda you're on your way all of those things, by the way, you were talking about are things that can be empty. Things that can be empty was the category. Now, Joel, you and Leon have the choice of Dorian Gray, and is that a recent picture? Is that a recent picture? Would you like to give a receipt? I think I'll give. All right. Uh, what happened to the score? Please explain to me. Dear instead of peer. You said deer instead of peer? Okay. Yep. They gave you credit. I, 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 I wondered why at the time. but I, I heard a ding that didn't belong there, too. Well, there was a, no, no, that wasn't it. Oh. They had given you credit for peer when indeed they checked and you said dear. I did say and dear. And I said to myself, I wonder why I got that. But now well, it's let's clear. give it back anyway. So we got to do a little... Uh, She's nice. She moving along. Uh, describe these right. movies of the 1980s. Okay. Movies of the 1980s. Okay. All right. Check your screen. Yeah, sure. Ready. <laughs> Go. Uh, this is the uh, extraterrestrial. E.T. He's the Indian guy that sat with bald. Ben Kingsley. Oh, Gandhi. Yeah. Uh, this is Dustin Hoffman dressed as a woman. Tootsie. Uh, this is uh, Paul Newman. The judge hands down the a... Verdict. The verdict. Uh, this is uh, people from outer space. Or, or, Alien. Yeah, good. This is um, not in Asia, but... In, out of Africa. Right. Uh, this is about the composer. About the composer. Uh, Wolfgang... Ma Ma uh, right. Amadeus. Amadeus. Oh, tough a round, color. folks. Perfect. Tough, tough. 16 to 14 is not going to look too good in about 30 seconds, I'm afraid. Shelly, do you feel like this is a oh. shooting fish in a barrel? Yeah, well, I feel like we, we were very lucky. That was a very tough round. Yeah. Would you like to get, say, three or four just for the heck of it to show them how smart you are? <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally, all, all you've got to do is get three. 17 points will turn the trick. These are things that can be gray. Things that can be gray. Ready? Go. This stuff. Hair. Right. And um, off your cigarette, you flick. Ashes. Right. And the elephant, the, the flying elephant. Uh, Dumbo. Yeah. Linda Simon, hold, hold it, hold it. Please keep going, keep going. Okay, um, not concrete, but in other words. Cement. All right, that's a safety measure. Okay. All right. I have no idea why that was. I'll tell you when I find out. Come with me. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened there, because it sure made my heart stop for a minute. Apparently what happened when uh, the other folks were playing uh, Amadeus, the word came up just a smidgen slow, a fraction of a second, uh -huh. and to be totally equi equitable, to make sure that there was no doubt about your win, they wanted you to win mm -hmm. by two points. And they were unable to get that word to me ahead of time, so when we said you'd won, I see everybody saying, get another one, get another one. Well, anyway, you <laughs> did it, and that solved the problem so that it's a clear win with no problems. You're going for $25,000, you might want to try to do it quickly this time with a little extra effort because you could enter the Tournament of Champions. Here's your first subject. Go. A bee. Things that sting. Uh, flip me over in the morning, put Aunt Jemima a um, on. Pancakes. With, a pancake would say. In the tub, in the shower. Where you bathe. In the rain. Where you, in the where rain. you get wet. Um, certain jewelry. Things that are gold, yes. silver. A picture. Things you frame. The paint on the wall. Yes. <laughs> a virgin. Things that. A child. Things that are innocent. Yes. Yeah. Please gather around. Wait, 
because in let, let me tell you what has happened. Forget the fact you're going to be in the tournament. You did that. The shortest length of time anybody ever went to the top of that pyramid was 26 seconds. Billy Crystal did wow. that. You did it in 29 seconds. Oh, yes. Wow. That is extraordinary time. Uh, let's take a second and... Uh, Introduce your entourage here. Who are these people? This is my husband, Jeff. Jeff, how are you? Nice to nice see you, to sir. You. And my friends, Ray and Dee McClure. Hi, Hello you? and welcome. Nice to have you all here. And your oldest boy has done the end. Right, right. Oh, right. <laughs> Can I have a car? <laughs> we'll be back in a second. <laughs> Hey, that's an exciting conclusion. Look at this, Leanne. You didn't win money, but I got to show those kids anyway. Who are these folks? All righty. Thank you so very much. We have consolation gifts for you, my dear. Uh, Joel, we'll see you tomorrow. We must sure run will. along. Linda, you're up to thirty-four thousand two hundred and fifty dollars a car trip to Hong Kong. You're in the tournament. There's nobody going to beat you for that. Shelley, we'll see you tomorrow. For now, Dick Clark. So long. is Chain Reaction, where one word leads to another, with today's special guest stars, Shelley Smith, Robert Mandan, Peggy Katz, Fred Brandy, and the star of Chain Reaction, Bill Cullen. Thank you all, and welcome to Chain Reaction. It is our pleasure to have you with us here. We have uh, Eric Berg, our current champion, $3,250. Congratulations to you, Eric. Thank you. Your team of uh, Fred and Robert here. And our challenger, Pamela Morley. Hello, Pamela. How do you do? You're doing quite well with Peggy and with Shelley, are you yes, not? Yes, I am. They're great. Okay, we're going to give you a chance to play the board, but right now we better open the board and give you a chance to look at it. This board begins with the word Italian. A lot of boards begin that way. And ends with... Almanac. Now, this chain begins that way, and when it's all done, someone's going to have 50 points. Right now, uh, Pamela, you have 34 on your side, and Eric has 17 on his. You get one point for every letter in the word you guess, and if you guess any of the words that have a plus sign next to them, you get a double score. All right, ready to start. Uh, you're up, Fred, on Eric's team. You have 17 points. Where do you want your first letter? Above Almanac. Okay. You get an I. <laughs> index? No, it is not index. And it's over to Peggy Cat. I'll take under Italian. Under Italian, you get P. Pizza. No, I like it, but it's not right. You're up, Robert. Under Italian. P. I. Huh. You sure we, it's not We know pizza? it's not pizza. Uh, it's going to be the other thing you eat. P uh, p p p pizza. No, the leaning tower of same. Shelley. Got to go under Italian. Okay, P I N. Pinocchio? No, by golly, although he was, it sounds like he was Italian. Eric? I'll take one under, under Italian. P-I-N-C. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got it. Time is up and we come to Pamela. Yes, Pamela? Like a letter under Italian. Please. We cannot give you a letter under Italian because that oh. means there's only one more oh. letter in that word. <laughs> what do you say? Pinch. I love it. Yeah, oh. pinch is right. And you have 39 points. I like that. To each his own, I suppose. Did you like Italian pinch, Peggy? No, I'm going right to uh, Almanac. All right, you have I-N. Don't let me lead you. Almanac. Mm -hmm. Information. Information is the right answer that wins the game. That is enough for you. Wow. Just enough. 50 points. Congratulations, Pamela. Okay, let's take a look at that rest of that chain. The Italian pinch, a pinch of salt, salt water, water tap, tap, phone, information, and almanac. Eric, you ended the game with uh, uh, 17 points over there, and you got some additional money, but you leave us with $3,335, and thanks for being with us and playing the game.
Well, Pamela, you played well, as did your team. Yes, thank you. You were a good combination. Pamela, you get $250 for winning the game, but the important thing is you get a chance to go down there and win $10,000 in 90 seconds. So step on down, we'll give you a chance to do just that. Pamela, comes now your opportunity to win some of the real big money here on Chain Reaction. We're going to find out if Shelley and Peggy have their minds in the same general direction because the answers that appear on Pamela's screen will not be seen by Pamela. She's going to have to try to figure them out from the questions that they construct by adding alternately one word at a time. As usual, it takes four correct answers to win your first thousand dollars. After that, each right answer is worth an additional thousand. So it goes from one to two thousand to three to four to five thousand dollars and then one more correct answer, and that's what you're looking for, all the way up to $10,000. Now, if you hear this sound, it means you've either used more than one word or you've given an unacceptable uh, English question. So go on to the next one. We have plenty of next ones there if you should want to. Wait till I say go. That'll give you a little extra thinking time. Here's your first answer for 90 seconds for $10,000. Go. Oh, I'm sorry. What bird loves... Loves, uh... What bird loves Daffy? <laughs> and Huey? <laughs> okay, go on. Tweety! Go on. Uh, what, what brother is the uh, family? Why don't you go, go on? on? Take yeah, the next okay, okay. What do you sit on in church? You. That's one. Okay. Uh, what does your child bring home from school to uh, uh, mark his his grades? Homework. Go on. Okay. Okay. Who is the dog? Who is the dog? Oh, gosh. Go on the next one. Okay. Where... Snoopy. <laughs> where is a range called the Rockies? Oh, Jesus. California. Oh, Go on. Okay. 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 What city in Italy uses... Time. Time, time, time. Sorry. Now then. Pamela, with the money you've what won you in this <laughs> in this round, I will say that no matter what happens, you will leave here with two hundred and fifty-one dollars. You, you got a pew. That's the one you got. You did come up with Snoopy, but it was after the fact. Once it is gone on, actually, I think uh, I think you two just had a little trouble connecting there. You both of you had good ideas, but I think each of you were going on in more or less independent ways. But Pamela, with two hundred and fifty-one dollars, you get a chance to play another game. Maybe you'll get back up here, try for ten thousand dollars. Right now, we have a word. Of yes, thank you, Robert. Two hundred fifty-two dollars, Pamela. Thank you, Robert. You're a sport. See you in a moment. Thanks, Robert. Welcome back to Chain Reaction. We've circulated our celebrity teams, and we have a brand new player. Her name is Denise Oni. Hello, Denise. Hi. Welcome to our show. Thank you. What do you do? I'm a systems analyst for Computer Service Bureau. Oh, you ought to be good at our <laughs> game. Oh. And 50 points wins the game, so let's start our first Chain Reaction board. This one begins with the word rich kid. I like that. Then there are six words that ends with the word Faint. Okay, Peggy, we start with you. Where do you want your letter? Faint. With faint. Of course, I just Down did. the bottom there. You get a B. Uh, faint. Sorry. All right. Shelly? I'm going to take it under rich kid. With rich kid, you get S. Uh, spoiled. Spoiled is right, Shelly, oh, and you have nice. pretty good. You have a point for every letter. That's oh, seven. Man. Pamela Morley, who has $251 and one of Roberts, you're up. I would like a letter with spoiled, please. R, double score. Rotten. Yes, uh -huh. that's the way it works. You're up to 19. Fred Grandy. Fred's thinking. I want to take a letter about faint. All right, B, L. Uh, bland. 
No, not Glam. Over well, to this side. Be. And it's Denise. Who A gets letter above faint. B L A. Blackout? Yes, ma'am. Oh. You're right. Good. Eight letters, eight points. All right, Robert. Mm, uh, above blackout, please. E. Uh, Europe is it Europeans? So no, it is neither of those. And we're the warrior, here to show Molder. Uh, above blackout again, please. E L. Electricity. Electricity is exactly good. right. Yeah. Wow. That's a long one. That's good for a lot of points. Thirty. You have thirty towards the fifty-point win, Pamela. I would like a letter with electricity. Double score, J. Uh, Nothing sorry. came to mind there. Okay, Peggy. Whew. What's that mean? She means whew. Oh, I would like a letter <laughs> above electricity. J, U. Jumpers. No, I like it, but it wasn't it. Fred? I want a letter above electricity. J-U-I. Oh. Juice. Juice is it, Fred. Oh. All right. You had another five. You're up to 40. That was double score. Yeah. Up to 40, 50 wins. Shelly, there's one word left. It pertains to rotten and to juice. Begins oh. with A. Apple. Apple is correct. And boy, that's a job of work for you. 45. 45 for Pamela's team. Denise's team has, at this moment, eight. We'll be back here in just a moment, but there are certain things we have to do, like this. Welcome back. Denise Oney's team has eight points. Pamela Morley's team has 45. And let's go on with our next chain. This one begins with the word mule, and there are six words in between. Ends with the word period. Okay, we're going to start with, uh, with you, Pamela. You're up because your team got the last correct answer. I would like a letter with mule, please. Okay, you get K. Kick? Yeah, that's it, and you're up to 49. You are one point away from a win, and oh, here's boy. a man good under pressure, Fred Grandy. Thank you, Bill. That's all right, Fred. <laughs> I'll take a letter under kick. S. Soccer. Fred, you won the game. Hey. You did it again, Fred. Soccer is right. I told you we were good under pressure. Listen to me, Fred. I told you. That was pretty good. Kick and soccer and won the game for Pamela. The rest of the chain, we go mule kick, soccer, soccer referee, stripes for referee, prison stripes, a sentence in prison, and period. And Denise, you ended up the game with eight points. We have $40 oh, in cash for cheekers. you. Thank you for being with us. And Pamela, now you're getting a chance because you get another $250. And you're going to get a chance now to, okay, you ready? To win $10,000 in less than 90 minutes, 90 seconds. Go on over there. Work, work, work. Seems as we have stood and talked like this before, Pamela. You know how we play a reminder. It takes four correct answers to win the first thousand dollars. After that, each correct answer is worth a thousand. It goes from one to two to three thousand to four to five thousand. The next one all the way up there to ten thousand dollars. If you hear this sound, it means your answer is not acceptable or your question is not acceptable. Go on to the next one. Okay, wait till I say go. Good luck, Pamela. And I mean that. You have 90 seconds. Here comes your first word. Ready, go. What does a chicken lay? Egg. That's one. Who starred opposite uh, Paul Newman in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Robert Redford. That's Tim. What is an uh, unmarried man. Bachelor. A hundred. Who had a farm with many animals? Old MacDonald. One thousand. What material <coughs> do you get from worms? Silk. Two thousand. What do you do to Stop your car. Put on the brake. Go on. What do you say in Hawaii? Aloha. 4,000. Who invented bifocals? I don't know. Go on. Where does a bird live? In a nest. 5,000. What do you uh, use when you are broken? 
and... <laughs> crippled! A cast. Go on. What... City... Has... Oh. Time is up for Pamela. You got $5,000. That's pretty good. Pamela has $5,000, and that's, that's the way it works. What, your yeah, broken leg. Yeah, Those crutches you were looking for. And you, you added some erudition there when you said that Ben Franklin invented bifocals. He did, yes. Most people think he invented electricity, but he didn't really. He just, it had been laying around for some time. Pamela, Pamela you have won $5,000. Now you're on the right track, and you're going to get another chance to win maybe another 10000 after you play against another contestant. What was that? Right now we have a little word for it. Chain reaction where we've circulated our celebrity players just to tell you that Pamela, Pamela Morley has now found the secret and she's up to $5,501. <laughs> and a new player over here is Patty White. How do you do, what do you, Bill? How do you do, Patty? Fine, what do you do? thank you. I'm a postal worker. Have, have you met Robert and oh, have you yes, met Fred? Oh, yes, we've been talking. I think you'll find them good partners. 50 Boy. points wins the game. So let's get to our first chain and see how it begins. With the word Robert, for heaven's sake. Then six ends with the word basket. All right, we begin with you, Fred. Where do you want your first uh, letter? You probably think I'm going to go into Robert, don't you? I did think that, yes. Going above basket. By golly, I misread you again. E. Easter basket. Wrong. <laughs> okay, I'll go into Robert. No, no, too late, Fred. <laughs> You've had your chance. <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> uh, I think it's... Is it Pam or is it you? No, I'm sorry. It's you. It's uh, I'll Robert. go above basket. Fred makes me lose my place. Uh, e how about eggs? Yeah, that's the way it works. Eggs is the answer. Right, my next I knew it would be. <laughs> I got it too easy. Now, Pamela, you get your chance. I would like a letter with eggs, please. Sure. B. Boy. <laughs> Time is up, and Patty gets her first chance. Okay, Bill, I'd like a letter with eggs, please. Sure thing, Patty. B A. Batter. <laughs> no, eggs and batter. That makes a heck of a combination. Peggy Cass. Huh. I will go above eggs. B A C. Oh. <laughs> uh, back. <laughs> Batch. <laughs> oh and you're my such, gosh, a, it's and you're such a marvelous speller, too. <laughs> no, I mean, you were until now. <laughs> Robert. Uh, above eggs. B A C O. Oh. <laughs> It's the only one I've gotten today. What's that? Bacon. You're right, Robert Mandan. As right as rain. Huh? I haven't been born on a farm. I've been... Fred. Okay, I'm going to go above bacon. All right, double score. S. Sizzle. No, it's not sizzle. And we're, well, we're not... <laughs> Shelly? I'll go uh, above you. bacon as well. S. T. Oh, um... Double score. Um... Uh, what do you know? What do you know? We are back to Patty. Okay, Bill, I'd like a letter with bacon, please. S-T-R, Patty. How about strip? You're right, double score, Patty. That was 10 points. You're up to 15, Robert. Uh, above strip. Above strip, we have L. <sighs> I, my mind is working in dirty ways. I said lady, I think. No, oh, it is when you say something, I have to take that as a guess. What? what Dirty lady is wrong. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Pamela. I would like a letter with strip. L A. Las Vegas. Sure, Pamela. Oh, so Fifteen to twelve. Peggy Cass is up. La 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 la. Las Vegas. Okay, it's a double score. Peggy starts with C. Crap. No. <laughs> if you don't like the game, just but, don't come back. What an interesting uh, sentiment. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take one with Las Vegas. You got C H. <laughs> well, I can't say what Peggy said. Uh, you had better not. I don't time, know. time is up, Shelley. Well, I think uh, we'll go with Las Vegas. C H I. Chips. Chips is right. Double <laughs> score. Chips. Twenty-two. <laughs> Oh. Pamela, you get the last word. It's between Robert and oh. Chips. Relates to both. Begins with an S. What say you? <laughs> All right. I thought sure you'd come up with that. Patty, we, you, we, we add a letter, S-T. It relates to Robert and to Chips. Stack? Oh. Stack is the answer. That's right. You have 20 points. 
Okay. It's 20 to 22. We'll be back here in a moment, but right now we thought we'd pause because we have these interesting words dying, crying to be said. We're back at Chain Reaction. Pamela Morley's team has 22 points. Patty White's team has 20 points, and they get first crack at it because we stay with you as long as you answer correctly. Family is the first word of this Chain Reaction. Then there are six words, as usual, in between, and it ends up with doctor. Good old family doctor. Robert, you're first. Uh, I'll start with family. Okay, T. Uh, we, there it is. T. Uh, I am... Time is up. Over to this side. Peggy Cass. I'm going to go to family. T R. Family tree? Yeah, family what? tree. And you have four more points. You're three. 26. You're on a run now. Shelly? Uh, underneath tree. T, and it's a double score. Uh, um, shit. Top. No, tree top. top. No, it is not. Who's up? Fred's up. I'm up. Double score? I'll go under tree. Okay, it's a double score. T, R. Hmm. Tree. Oh. Tree. tree, I don't know. Okay, now we are over to Pamela. Pamela. I would like a letter with tree. T, R, U. Trunk. Sure. Trunk, double score. You're up to 36 points. 50 is the game. Peggy Cass. Doctor. Over doctor. Down at the bottom there. X. -ray. X, X ray indeed. Good. You are right. <laughs> 40 points for your team. You're up, Shelly. Oh, this is a tough one. Um, okay, uh, over X-ray. Above X-ray, we have the letter C. Um. Time. Patty. Okay, I'd like to go with a letter under trunk, please. Under trunk, S. Suitcase? No, it is not suitcase. Mm. And Pamela, you're up. Uh, a letter with X-ray. Over X-ray is C H. Chest. Yes, ma'am. C H E S T. You have forty-five. Peggy. Uh, uh, I'll go with trunk. S P. Sp uh, trunk. Sp uh, sp 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 oh gracious! Robert. Uh, with trunk, please. S P A. Spacious. No, it Did is not. Did you say that? No, she said gracious. Oh. You said spacious, well, and that's wrong. <laughs> you said spacious. And uh, Shelly. Got to go under trunk. S-P-A-R. Uh. Oh. Trunk spar. Mm. Well, Fred. Well, I'll go with one for trunk. S-P-A-R-E. Spare, spare trunk, spare. Spare, spare, spare. Pamela, where do you want your letter? Uh, a letter with trunk, please. S P A R E space T. Tag? No. Oh, Who's wow. up? Who's up? Patty, where do you want your letter? I like a letter under trunk, please. S P A R E space T I. Spare tire. Yes, ma'am. We got rid of that one. Spare tire is it. Double score. You got yourself 29 points, 45 to 29, and we have run out of time. Am I correct there? We'll see you again tomorrow on Chain Reaction. Try to join us. Goodbye. Some of our contestants will receive spice for a life of delicious Lipton flavored teas and tea bags. Try orange and spice, cinnamon, and a variety of other exciting flavors. Lip quencher by Chapstick, the moisturizing lipstick that makes your lips feel as good as they look. Four gallons of super scrubbable True Test Easy Care latex flat wall and trim finish, perfect for both walls and woodwork, sold only at True Value Hardware Stores. Rice Aroni, the big flavor side dish that's so quick and so easy, the one you saute and simmer to flavor perfection. Rice Aroni, the San Francisco treat. Be everything you can be with Mary Kay Cosmetics, skin care and glamour cosmetics presented to you in your home by. Train beauty consultant, Mary Kay Cosmetics, Dallas, Texas. And anything you like can be pie with ready crust. Pie size, part size, and toppings in a pouch from Johnson's The Dessert People.